Today we're going to concentrate on the foundation of your game which is your pre-shot routine and your technique. And we're doing this by performing a drill that I initially just created for my patrons. And this video that you're just watching should have been initially just for my patrons. But since I didn't upload for quite a while because I was really sick, you can maybe still hear it on my voice, I'm still a bit sick. Um, I decided to publish it on my YouTube channel as well. And the rules for this drill are in the video description because it has adjustable rules for uh, different skill levels of course. There is a link to my Patreon page but um, don't worry uh, you don't have to pay anything I'm going to make this public but if you want to get more drills like this and bonus videos then maybe consider to become a patron. Okay real quick the rules um, you're starting with ball in hand and uh, I'm going to play it in the most difficult uh, skill level or difficulty level which is uh, playing them in order. This means you have to start from the one then play the corresponding color here which is the nine ball because both balls are yellow then you have to get to the two then again to the blue ball to the ten ball three down table four down table five and uh, last ball also the five the orange ball so um, i just want you to concentrate on my stroke maybe might watch this video two times the first time where you're just watching how i'm stroking the ball and what i'm doing exactly and the second time maybe which patterns i'm choosing but i'm going to talk you through so maybe one time is enough all right we're starting uh, with ball in hand i want to get fairly straight on the nine ball to have a very easy path to get to the two ball because think three balls ahead you want to end on this side of the two ball because if you're ending here then the cue ball is going to run into the free ball. Okay, so already a very important shot. So I'm standing while I'm aiming and now um, the whole process starts. Your stroke, you're going down. What I like to do is locking into the shot, seeing if everything's all right. Once I'm feeling comfortable, starting my uh, strokes, seeing if everything is aligned correctly. Once I'm ready, I'm going to pull back really smooth Maybe you can pause a bit, you don't have to. And then I'm going to push the cue just straight forward and going to follow through. Okay, I'm going to do this without talking now. And by the way, my stroke and technique is far away from perfect, but I just wanna show you the right approach in this video. Going back to the stroke, here you can see how far I'm pulling my cue back and how much I'm following through the cue ball and I'm doing this to get the best possible timing. This means I'm accelerating just a tiny bit through the cue ball. And since the shaft is perfectly overlapping on both images, this was a perfectly straight stroke. But this won't be the case on every shot in this video. And you see, very nice angle on the 9 ball. So again, we're doing the same. Wanna end up, yeah. This area where we're going away from the free ball. So again, go down, lock in, just rely that everything is aligned correctly and then just cue straight, follow through nicely. And which angle did we get? Well, we didn't get the right angle, but this doesn't matter. We can now work again on our stroke, just and uh, we want to draw back now, get fairly straight on the 10 ball. And this is a really good uh, example again for a nice and smooth stroke with a lot of quality and cue action and the right timing, of course. So you don't have to hit that hard if you're playing the shot and if you want to draw back. Just watch now how smoothly I can draw the cue ball back without doing this really hard kind of stroke that a lot of people are doing. See, very nice on the 10 ball. We got a bit of an angle because uh, it's important to be close to straight that we can get on the right side of the free ball again. Okay, without much talking, just watch what I'm doing. Even got a bit too much out of the cue ball, but this is just fine as long as we're having the right angle. Again, on the 11 ball, I want to be somewhere here. I don't have to go around the balls. I'm aiming, going down, locking in. Now 
Let's judge the speed a bit here, but it doesn't matter. Now we're on the wrong side. Now we actually have to go around two rails and end up again on this side of the four ball. So a very crucial shot here. Did we get your right angle? Well, it's okay. We did, uh, this is the straight line. Here would be nice, but this is still okay. Now we can do a bit with the cue ball. So this time I'm going to hit high and left. So every time you're uh, facing a situation, you always want to think before what you're going to do and how, uh, which English you have to add. So I know I want to hit high left. Cue ball should come two rails, center of the table. And then once you've visualized everything, very important, then you prepare. So while I'm doing my pre-strokes in the air, I'm most of the time visualizing everything, just really starting to feel the shot, how the, feel should, uh, how the shot should look and feel in your arm, the speed and so on. Okay, I'm preparing. You just watch what I'm doing. And uh, when you're down and you just don't have the feeling that everything's right, then stand up, chalk again, and restart the whole process. So far we concentrated on the cue, but now concentrate on my body and how much I'm moving while shooting the shot. Did you notice that it just became a bit blurry? This is because I froze the image just before shooting and overlaid the image. As you can see, I didn't move a lot and this is very important when shooting. Try to stay as still as possible and only move your arm. Okay, center of the table. Again, we didn't end ideal because uh, this is the straight line. In the ideal world, we would be here where we just can stun one rail towards the five ball. But again, not everything goes as planned. Now we just have to follow one rail, go to the five. Again, don't over hit the shot, just concentrate on following through. A bit too close to the rail. So again, just going to hit the high ball, going one rail or maybe two rails if I'm adding a touch of right spin, but I don't want to do that. Just going one rail towards the 13 ball. And again, don't overpower the shot, just rely on queuing straight and following through nicely. This time just concentrate on the final backwards and forwards motion just before I pull the trigger. I didn't make a pause, but the transition between backwards and forwards motion was very smooth. And that's very important because I've probably said it a hundred times on this channel, all the cue action comes from the forward motion. So. Make a pass or don't make a pass. As long as it's smooth, it's okay. But you don't want to rush the shots because then your muscles maybe tighten up and you will jump up or choke on the shots. You see, I'm always staying down that long, even without my GoPro, because if I'm staying down after the shot and I notice that my cue or is pointing this or that way after the shot, I know, okay, I had some technical issues. So that's very important, stay down and just feel in which position your body is. And this will very often indicate yourself uh, that something was wrong. And by the way, my arm position isn't good far away from textbook and should probably be fixed soon. But by following the tips from this video, you will get more consistent results and it will help you cue more straight. And uh, this is the drill. Um, I know the patterns weren't perfect. We didn't have uh, pinpoint positions every time, uh, but I think um, I hopefully you got the message uh, how important your stroke is uh, because as I mentioned in the beginning, this is the foundation of your game. Okay guys, I hope you got a bit of value out of this video and sorry I couldn't do any fancy animations, moving lines on a table, GoPro view and so on because I'm still not feeling very well. As I mentioned, I was sick uh, for quite a while now. But uh, I just wanted to make a video that gives you a bit of value and um, yeah, I have to make videos otherwise I don't have any income. So if you want to support me, then maybe as I mentioned in the beginning, head over to Patreon, support me. You will definitely get a great value back like drills, podcasts, mental game, um, 
bonus videos, uh, you can have my playing ability test and so on. So maybe consider if you want to support me um, to head over to Patreon. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, nevertheless, without those fancy stuff around, uh, then please consider to leave a like, comment, share, and very important, subscribe to my channel. Huge thank you to my sponsors, to my patrons, you are the best. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching guys and uh, we will see you soon on my next video uh, when I'm healthy again. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.